What's going on guys? This is Taylor from the Southwest Wheel Warehouse. Today we're going to be looking at the BK13 ELE. This is going to be our 12 inch brake kit for a 5200 pound axle with the 6 on 5 and a half bolt circle. See right here this box you get it in. We got our nice logo on it. And down in here we got two smaller boxes. Everything will come in. Keep it nice and neat while it gets to you. Pull our smaller parts out here. Right here we can see we have our True Ride Hub and Drum with our half inch zinc coated studs. And the way we're going to measure our bolt pattern on this is from stud to stud straight across. Center to center that's going to be five and a half inches. We have our races already pressed in both sides. We have our backing plate. Magnets already installed. True Ride inspected. Got our sticker on there that's going to tell us left hand right hand already. We'll come over here we got our small parts. Our other hub and drum. So with this kit, we're gonna get two hub and drums, a left hand and a right hand backing plate. We're gonna get four seals. As you can see on these seals, one of these is thinner than the other one. This is our two and an eight seal, and this is our two and a quarter seal. We like to make sure that we send extra. Make sure you guys get what you need. This seal, the bigger one. The two and a quarter is for the older axles and the older parts they use these. Um, most people won't need this. The two and an eighth seal is for what most people are going to use. If you order our axles, it's going to be the two and an eighth. We'll get a seal for either side. We're going to put our bearings in, and then these seals are just going to come in right behind it right there. Then we have our mounting hardware. We're going to get 10 washers, 10 nuts, and 10 of these studs. These studs usually will come in the axle, but a lot of times they fall out, so we send you extra. All you do is just press these in, guys. It's not really very hard. Uh, we'll put this through the plate on the axle and then through here. And we'll put our washer on and our nut on behind it. Just mount it up just like that. And we have our bearings. We're going to get an inner and an outer for either side. Our inner is going to be the 25580 and our outer is going to be the 15123. So this one's just going to pop in right here. And our inner is just going to pop in right there. Then we have our castle nuts. We're going to get two castle nuts and two cotter pins. Once again, most guys aren't going to get you the cotter pins. We like to make sure you guys are going to get what you need. So you're going to stick your castle nut on your spindle, pop your cutter pin through, just like that, hold it on there nice and neat. Then we're going to get four grease caps. And the reason that we get four is you're going to get two that have the holes in them and two that don't. These are for your easy loop spindles and these are for your regular spindles. The easy loop spindles are going to come with the tank washer. This replaces the cutter pin. And they're also going to come with our rubber plug to pop in. Then our regular spindle grease caps are going to come with just our regular spindle washers. So that's it guys, pretty simple stuff. Just mount them up, plug them in, good to go. That was our BK13 ELE.